Hi everyone, this is Gabrielle and welcome to the next series of alcohol painting. In the first one I told you what to purchase and where to purchase and you can get alcohol inks um, at Curry's, at um, Michael's, at any number of places and there are different kinds of brands so uh, you have you have choices. You get a packet of three and then you can either use it on Yuppo paper and today we're going to use it on ceramic tiles and these I purchased just from Home Depot and uh, I'll just again show you some basics um, the idea being that you understand that these flow so naturally uh, you do have to try and control them and um, it's, it's a little bit hard if you have too much alcohol or too much blending solution so I'm going to spray this just quickly and get, give you an idea of how they flow. I think maybe that's the first part. So I'm putting a base of purple on the tile plus some blending solution as you can see, a few dots. So this is going to be the base and I don't need to add much more than that. I've taken, I'm taking green and just placing dots. As you can see they bloom beautifully. I'm actually cleaning off my brush um, with uh, alcohol and because I'm going to use it inside these dots in it to make it bloom. So I've chosen some colors and it, it, they're pretty basic, yellow, blue and green and the base is purple. Now I'm dipping my brush into some blending solution and it, obviously it still has some pink in there which is nice. And do you see how it blooms? I mean, it's amazing. It opens it up, and you can keep doing that and keep adding more layers. It's sometimes easier to dab the colors right on the tile that you see in front of the, on the in front of me. I can put the color on another tile and then dip my brush into it, which is much easier sometimes than um, spraying it on or using it any other way. The color is so concentrated it'll dry on the tile and you can reactivate it just by dipping your brush into alcohol and into the color. I put more blending solution on it so I keep opening these circles and it's very random. I don't have a plan other than that I was going to use these colors and I was going to try and experiment just with these blooms. So this is the first tile and I'll show you how I do the next one because it's more strokes rather than blooms on the next one. It turned out beautiful. So I did the same thing. I sprayed it with alcohol, put some green on it and wiped it off. And now as you can see I'm just using the tips of the um, bottles because they're tiny and you can almost use them like a brush. And you see how they flow? They open. So the blooms obviously are larger. And the brush strokes are amazing because um, it's just gorgeous how these things open up. I love watching it. Uh, additional colors and then branching it out. Again, I find it easier to work from another tile. So I did buy a very large, long tile from Home Depot that I'm actually going to affix these ones onto. And I did the same thing on that tile. I put purple and green and blue on it and then wiped it off with long stroke. So as you can see here, I've sprayed it with alcohol and you can see the white dots from that and I'm adding additional ones. So I don't want it to be all tiny dots, so I'm reapplying some of the some of the colors and allow it to bloom. So I'm going to have both of the effects. I have to kind of steady my hand so I don't dip my brush into it too deeply. Very simple, so you need not be uh, hesitant about trying it. If this didn't work, I would wipe it off completely. So a few more brush strokes and this will be done. And I had so much fun, I created three more. But first I'm going to show you a close-up of these two that I just made. I think they turned out lovely. I really love the brilliant color and the effects. 
I went back to Home Depot, I picked up a very long tile, and I did the effect of dripping on the tile, wiping it off to get the base, and then I'm going to glue on these small ones and put felt on the back of the long one and be able to hang it up. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you love them, please get in touch, like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.